Okay, uh, everybody, I'm back. Uh, I had a couple video clips that I was trying to put together and editing, and I messed that all up. I need a little practice there, but I wanted to get some kind of update out to you guys, so I'm just going to make a quick video, put it out there, and show you guys what's going on. First of all, uh, thanks a lot to uh, everybody uh, in all the uh, Facebook car groups that I'm in for, like, the Tri-5 stuff and... Uh, all, all, all you guys, a lot, a lot of the uh, ideas I got and a lot of the suggestions I got really helped me get this door on. It's not perfect, I mean, it's a repop, uh, but we got it on there to where it's comfortable right now. Uh, it's gonna still need some work, but remember, we got all the back sheet metal off. We're just trying to get everything close right now. I'm not even worried about the front. I know you're supposed to do the front, and. But I, I'm, I'm gonna put a tilt nose on and I'm probably gonna go with the steel I have and I'm gonna fabricate something. So it's not gonna be factory anyway. It's gonna slide out and tilt forward. So I'm gonna have to find out what's out there as far as kits or drawings and stuff. So we're gonna worry about that later. I just wanted it close enough to where I'd be comfortable to get the uh, quarters on. Um, I want to pull the camera off in a minute and I'll show you guys around the door. It's a hair high right here and it can go in a little bit right here, but everywhere else it's pretty good. It's in a tiny here, but this is all stuff that can be fixed. I'm going to have a real body guy look at it once I get the sheet metal all roughed in. Um, like I said, I just want to get it to the point where I can weld all the back sheet metal on. I want to get the trunk bolted up on there so I can line everything up. So that's where we're at. Um, next week, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing that we did on this side with the uh, wheel uh, housing with the rubber. I gotta do that over there. I wanna treat the in inner part of the outer core, the inner quarter, outer, and the inner side of the outer quarter with that truck bed liner. Just like every, just repeat everything we did on, on the driver's side here before we permanently hang it up. Um, so that's where we're at with the sheet metal. Um, so let me, uh, let me put this phone down and I'm gonna pull the camera off and I wanna walk it around and show you guys exactly what I got. I should just take a second here. I would pause the camera, but every time I do, I'm having problems. So I'm just gonna do it this way for now. All right, so I'm gonna walk you over. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's, it's just a little hair tight right in here. Um, I was hitting up in here a little bit, so I had to tweak it out a little bit. Let me open it up and show you. See, that's that's uh, lead there. Um, the old lead, it was rubbing there. So we, we worked that in a little bit. Go around and look at that top. That's a pretty nice, that's about a paint stick the whole way across. This doesn't line up perfectly right here, but this is a repop door. But look how nice it lines up right here. So I'm going to get like a body guy to look at this. And maybe, you know, they'll, t they'll tell me what needs to happen. It seems real nice. It's, a, it's, it's, it's right through here. It could it, The whole door could maybe go this way a little bit. But if I try to do that, then I'm having a problem here. So there's some stuff I can still do. Um, but I'm comfortable overall with where it's at to where I could go ahead and put this quarter on, provided the trunk lined up. So that's, that's what I was looking for. Um... I'm going to see over here, I don't know if you guys watched some of the uh, other video we had, my buddy Mike come over and we did this side a little different. I didn't take the window, the window out on this side. Uh, we just cut it up through here and I put a uh, flange, I had a flanging tool and we flanged it. So it's sitting on there good. The old door's just hanging. I haven't got it adjusted or anything. I'm going to pull it off, grab that one new hinge we got and... Uh, put the new new repopper on there and and just see where we're at that's that's going to be the job this week um and like i said pull this off get everything treated and ready um now what i did was i followed a lot of the suggestions i got from you guys in the car group so I, the first thing i did was i uh tightened down on all the uh body mounts to the uh, factory specifications of as they say between 25 and 35 mine are all around 30 30 32 30 somewhere around there but it, it, it's it's down but i don't have any shims in and you know these these cars with the full frame sometimes you got to shim certain areas so that's why i'm going to wait 
before I go any further and talk to a body guy, but I feel like we're close enough to get uh, where we want to be. Um, I figured uh, while I'm at it real quick, I would go over, I noticed that we got a lot of new subscribers coming in. Well, for me a lot. So, and, and, and you guys are maybe not familiar with uh, the build so far. Um, I encourage you to go back and check out some of the uh, videos we had, like, uh, I had the engine down to a uh, engine shop and I had it uh, put up on a dyno. Um, good thing I did. I bought it off Craigslist. It had a few problems. The guy ironed them out. Stuff that took him a few minutes, what it took me weeks, months to try to figure out. Uh, he had to fix the pickup tube. Uh, he had to put the correct uh, pulleys back on the front of the motor. And uh, he had to index the uh, spark plugs with some Moroso, uh, those. Uh, brass moroso uh, washers because it's got domed pistons on there it's a it's a 468 big block chevy um it got okay numbers on the machine i mean uh it came out at i think 482 horsepower um and that was at 5800 rpms is when the valves started floating open um he's confident the uh engine man was uh rob mayer real popular down here in the northeast knows his stuff He's confident we'll get to uh, 500 when we get an open air and the rings finish seating. So that's that's plenty for us. But uh, we got a good solid number there. And uh, the uh, the maximum torque we got on the motor came in at 4,100 RPMs and it was 510 foot pounds of torque. So we got some good torque. We got a little bit of a torque monster here with our gasser. Enough enough for us to have some fun. Um, initially, I was going to put a uh, four uh, a four L80E uh automatic transmission in it and i just thought about it i actually bought a used one and was going to have it rebuilt i ended up reselling it on marketplace and uh i picked up a uh brand new or a reconditioned from uh speedway i got one of those tko uh tremec uh tko 600s um it's a five speed transmission i know traditionally everything's four speed but i really wanted to be able to be semi street friendly and still be able to go to the track and play with the guys you know and uh we have a really tall gear on the back of our uh gasser here it's uh you know uh it's 456 gear ratio and it's uh it's a yukon uh nodular yukon um allen from eight and nine rears built it for me it's got 35 spline axles in it and uh it's got the big 1350 yoke on there. Um, it's got a nice reinforced brace on the back. Got a nice set of uh, brakes, uh, disc brakes on it. Um, so, you know, we're able to have some fun with it. I mean, there's a nice brace. He did a really nice job for us. Uh, it's a, we, we also got a nice tall tire. Um, I think it's like a 30 or a 31 there. They're Mickey Thompson Sportsman's and uh, they're nice and tall. And uh, we got about uh, 12 inches of rubber on, on the ground. I think we got about 13 or something between the wheel well, between the uh, uh, wall, side walls of the tire. So we got a nice tall tire in there. So it's a nice combination to where we can get the RPMs down hitting that fifth gear with the uh, five speed transmission. Um, I feel like I, I made some good choices. Uh, I'll always listen to feedback, man. and. You know, buy, sell, trade, you know, never know, but uh, not the car. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll die with this thing. So, uh, but I also uh, did a lot, a lot of uh, chassis work on it. Um, we had, uh, we bought uh, this uh, kit from uh, Nicky's out of Chicago, John Tyberg and them guys. There's your number, number 36. It's a straight axle kit. Um, I really, you know, I, I'm no mathematician. These guys, they engineered all the, bugs out of it and they got the uh, cast camber welded to where it's supposed to be i guess and you know i, I figured let's uh safety first and uh these guys have been doing it a long time so that's who i went with with that i welded it on myself um grafted it in john offered a lot of phone and uh, email support great guy still still give me ideas and stuff i also bought a set of ladder bars off of them i got them sitting over there behind the compressor i gotta clean them up and i'm gonna get them coated and We'll put those on later, but I need to wait on the car before we uh, think about that. Uh, we put the springs uh, inward. We did that ourselves. 
I had to replace a piece of frame. Really, there's some uh, video on that as well. Um, but if you got up under this car and look, it is super clean. We scrubbed everything. I mean, it's the bottom of it's just going to be as clean as the top. Uh, we already got our fuel lines and brake lines ran. I got them on brackets that I made. There's also a video out on that. And uh, earlier on, you guys can check that out. Um, my buddy Kevin Nagy come over and help me with that. That's uh, Mike's brother come over and help me with this. Them guys run a shop down the street off Phase Auto. A couple of really good friends of mine. They come over once in a while and steer me in the right direction. Um, but that's where we're at with the car. I mean, uh, for you guys that are new to what we got going on. I just wanted to let everybody know I really appreciate uh, all the feedback I've been getting. Um, if you like what you're looking at, um, hey man, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to build this page up. Uh, like and tell a buddy, come on in and take a look. Uh, trying to keep busy, trying to keep a positive attitude in this uncertain time. All this virus stuff going around and everybody acting a little off. But I'm trying to keep my life as normal as I can, like I was telling you guys before. I hope you guys all do the same. Um, and until, uh, until this thing with that settles down, try to find the things you like to do. Uh, if it's working on cars, great. If your car's already done, hey man, just come in here and throw a picture up. Tell me about it or uh, go out there and detail it and uh, clean the rims, something. Just keep busy and keep your uh, focus on uh, positive things.